Good morning. I hate you, you fuck. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to go get Duncan on Starbucks because Duncan's coffee was awful. now and this behind me is where they do a raffle like every hour or something like that um, a raffle and a trivia thing so they are currently uh, asking people I guess D&D questions and then if you answer them right you win a prize so that's really awesome hey Derek hello I have a question for you yes. for this convention winner fantasy uh -huh. um, what would you say its target audience? Like, if people are watching this and they're like, I like D&D, who do you think this um, convention is geared towards? Uh, the folks who really like D&D and want to play all weekend in like the Adventures League kind of organized play stuff, mm -hmm. where the authors have kind of written things together. Uh, especially if you're somebody who wants to meet some of the authors and talk to them about it, like tell them how the adventures went or give suggestions or whatever. Um, but it's the people who are really into that organized campaign where they've you know, played with friends at other conventions and are kind of really into the community. So this is where they all show up basically <laughs> together to play. On that note though, say you're really into D&D, &D, yeah. is there some D&D &D folks that this is probably not the right show for? Uh, if you're the person who just likes playing like the random uh, kind of silly homebrew game, um, there's not really much of that here. Like there's some pickup games and stuff. But pretty much everything here is focused on you know, people have their organized play characters and they're trying to get in as much as they can so they show up on Wednesday and play like, what, 12 slots over the course of the weekend? Thank you! I love you. So we're playing One Deck Dungeon again because I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's really good, you guys should check it out. It's like a 30 minute game that is either one or two players and it's really good and it's cooperative and I can't stop playing it. got our asses kicked um, playing one deck dungeon and I really wanted to win. Sometimes it's a dice rolling game so and I usually hate dice rolling games but this one's pretty good but it is still dice in the end so did not do so well. Uh, Derek in the background is being interviewed by Maze Arcana. I think it's mainly asking questions about how he got into gaming and what he does and what he loves about games and all that stuff. Yay! We got recruited by Rob Twelve, who is the writer for Shadow of the Demon Lord RPG um, to try out his prototype of a new board game. It's right back there. Um, and uh, I don't think he's ever really been in board game design before. He's written RPGs and obviously worked with D&D. So he wanted just to get a few people who play games to try it out and give him as much feedback as we potentially can. So let's try it out. I don't think they have a name for it. It was just a board game based on Shadow of the Demon Lord. Did we like it? It's not, certainly the name is not polished yet, um, but it had some interesting parts. I enjoyed being a uh, queen of the zombies. I was a healing lady and I liked her. Mm -hmm. We teamed up. Yep. And it was the fun. The druid turned evil and killed us all. We gave lots of feedback and that was good. And oh, you're so cute! And now we're gonna go and get something to eat. I think we're going to get some gyros and I'm really excited because this place is like right across the street and it's Greek food and it looks like it's going to be tasty.
addicted to it and uh, I played it with uh, John over there and uh, we we were just learning it but he immediately bought it so it's a good game you guys should try it out it's a one to two player game and it's really good it's much more difficult at one player than it is at less more I'm starting to feel a little bit like a broken record because uh, I <laughs> keep showing you guys the same games over and over again but that's kind of what's available here and Derek is trying to demo a lot of um, Dusk City Outlaws because obviously that game's on Kickstarter and we love it. Um, hopefully I get to play Shadow of the Demon Lord tomorrow, that'll be really fun. But uh, we are currently playing Dusk City Outlaws again. Uh, that is my table over where Derek is in the yellow shirt over there. Um, there's a lot going on, like all those tables in there are, are full. Um, it's a lot of D&D. Um, as you can see, we had to change the locations halfway through because the um, convention center setup was closing at 11. So it is now 1:30 uh, in the morning, and we just finished up that RPG. And it's so we played exactly the same scenario that we played uh, yesterday, and we went totally a different way. Like everything was completely different, and I really love that about um, Dust City Outlaws. It was really fun. Um, also, if you ever try to order pizza, uh, Domino's specifically, uh, do so before 11 p.m. because we tried it five minutes past 11 and Domino's is not going to be delivering any more pizzas, which is a shame. I really was hungry. So instead, I bought a bunch of like um, snacks and jerky and just ate that. Just lots of junk food. But uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, it is now 1.30 as I said and I am going to go upstairs uh, to the room and edit this video and get to sleep and hopefully it won't take nine hours to upload like the last one. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hi. What are you doing? I'm texting Rodney to let him know how the playtest of his game went. How did it go? It went great. Uh, they got through everything, they had a lot of fun. We ran late, had to relocate, but I think it was pretty fantastic. I had fun too. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna edit my video. I love you. And we're gonna go to bed. Oh. Good night. Good night.